every family needs a few chickens. Stacy Lane, save a good life. Animal husbandry is a lost art. Kids can learn so much about where their food comes from and they can learn a lot about science and the ecosystem. Just by having chickens and raising chickens, we have created a mini ecosystem right here in our own yard. We feed the chickens amazing scraps from the table and they in turn feed us wonderful, nutritious, fresh eggs. Fresh eggs are a healthy protein. They're better for you than the caged raised chickens because they're getting to forage and they're getting all kinds of great nutrients from your scraps and from the garden. So you're getting great healthy eggs that have really high omega fatty three acids and they're low in cholesterol, they're lower in fat than your regular eggs and they're just better. They taste better they make the best meringues you've ever seen. They make incredible custards or just an egg sandwich. There's just nothing like a fresh egg. They make everything taste better. Hey, be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Your eggs will even last longer. Did you know that there's a bloom that is already on the egg as a protective shell? If you keep the bloom on the outside of the egg, they will last on your countertop for eight weeks or longer. You can put them in your refrigerator with the bloom still intact, and that's just not washing them. You just keep them not washed, put them in the refrigerator, they'll last for over three months. So it's pretty amazing. The ones you get at the grocery store have been washed, and they've been sitting there for about eight weeks. So you're not at all getting a totally fresh egg when you go to the grocery store to get your eggs. Raising chickens is really easier to me than going to the grocery store. They're simple. You can order them off the internet. They come right to you. I get mine from Lehman's.com. Also, they have the best selection of baskets. Look, I got this there too. Anyway, they're your source for anything chickens. Let me just tell you how easy they are. All they need is a water source. They need a little bit of food. They need a place to roost and they need to be safe from predators. That's it. They're so simple. If they're not congested, then you've got it going on. Scott and the boys actually built this chicken coop for me. And um, I just absolutely love it. I think it's like really cool, a, a cool outbuilding next to the house since we have an old timey house. We have a couple of places that they can ro uh, roost along with some others. And I just love it when, they, when they're just so fresh and they're just right warm from the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come out here. I want to show you the inside of one of these eggs and, you know, how this is different. Look at how beautiful and yellow that yolk is. What makes that so great is that the yellow is really yellow and this is really clear, the albumin. That is a fresh egg. When it's cloudy, you'll know that it's not so fresh. It doesn't really mean that it's bad, it's just not fresh. The more yellow that the yolk is, the more healthy that that egg is. This area here is just their protected area. We keep them here to keep them free from any predators because we kind of live out and we have a lot of coyotes and they love, love, love chickens and if they get one, you better believe they're going to get 20. No lie. We, we let them forage out here in the green grass and they'll get all the insects from the garden. They'll get insects from in here. They get crickets and, you know, they get uh, worms and all kinds of good stuff that makes those eggs really, really rich, really, really deep yellow and gives us the healthy uh, benefits. You don't have to have a big place. We, we have a little bit bigger place than the normal person, especially, especially those people in suburbia, um, to keep chickens. We started with just three or four chickens in a chicken tractor, and we bought them at the local um, co-op and you know and we we made our own brooder lamp you know and and made sure that they were warm enough and other than that you know you can keep them in this like little chicken tractor where that you can move around your backyard which is really really cool and that's what we did when we first started so don't think you have to have a big place to keep chickens just make sure you don't get a rooster because your neighbors are not going to be real thrilled with that <laughs> now one one really big tip is you need to check for eggs often and you'll know a lot of times they'll really let out some sounds when they are laying their eggs and you need to get them right away because if not they'll get waste on them or the other chickens will come and eat the other hen's leg eggs not legs so they'll eat the eggs of the other hen it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous mm -hmm.
There are so many benefits to keeping chickens and having fresh eggs. And we can just walk right out here, pick up an egg, and go inside and cook it. There's just nothing like it. We can even use their waste for our compost to make great soil that's gonna produce great, healthy vegetables for us to eat. So it's just this little mini ecosystem that we're teaching our children and that we're living out. And I just love that. Stacy Lynn.